question for you. What would it feel like to be rich to you? Go ahead and put that in the comments. What would you do if you were rich? What would you buy? What would you be? What would you do? Who would you help out? Put all that up in the, put all that up in the comments. What's up, Internet? Today, we're going to discuss getting rich in America by the numbers. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of junk out. And I'll tell you why this stemmed from a conversation I had on Facebook. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, the founder of Hustlers Kung Fu University, where your real education begins. Be sure to watch the video from the start to the finish. I'll give you information toward the end on how to get a t-shirt. So with that, let's just jump into this. I was having this conversation with this person on Facebook. We were just talking about money and other things, and I said, I'm part of 1%. And he called me a billionaire, and I was like, no, do not have to be a billionaire to be in the 1% of the world, not just the United States of America, but the world's top economic status. So we go on and go on, and I go out and I get information. He's like, no, fool. My feelings, my emotions are more important than your facts. I felt the need to do this and to create a pathway of information so you can get rich in America. I grew up in abject poverty. I had two parents. I became a member of the single parent household paradigm, and it was very, very harsh. I mean, we went through a lot. That's my background. I grew up in a house that did not have indoor plumbing outside of the kitchen. I remember when they put the bathroom in. Someone like me, and this was many, many years ago. I'm 51 years old. I know, you know, you're 50. You should have us be established, but I'm more than established. I came from those beginnings, dropped out of college my junior year, never went back. And I remember Michael Shanley, the president of Renacrate, was saying that most people who don't finish college regret it. I guess I'm not most people. So let's talk about the numbers of being rich. If you saw in the previous video, I was talking about there is no middle class. Lower have haves and lower have nots and there's higher have and higher have nots. They all have jobs. So the minute that job disappears or there's a dip in income, their whole world is turned upside down. If you are rich, you could literally live two, three, four years without working. I'm gonna give you some more definitions of that. Let's address this 1% fallacy. To be in the top world, not just the United States, but world, you need to make $280,000 per year. That puts you in the top 1%. The billionaires, the mega millionaires, they're in the top 0.3 or 2%. There are only 2,045 billionaires in the world and are roughly 15 million millionaires. Now that 15 million millionaires, that's a lot of money, but the world's population is 7.2 billion. We're not even talking about 10% of the population is wealthy or rich or wealthy. It's really a small percentage, which is good news. With the threshold of getting into the top 1% being $280,000, which you can get there much faster through business ownership. I don't care about going to school. If you want to be an engineer, you want to be a doctor, have at it. This video is probably not for you. This video is for people who want to escape poverty or mediocrity or the regularness of life. Those are your numbers. 280,000 a year. One person puts you in the 1%. Say you're a couple and you make 285, you're in there. And what does 1%, being the top 1%, of all income earners get you. Get you a nice crib. You're in the position to pay cash for cars. You don't have car notes. You don't have regular credit card bills because you make so much money. Let's talk about, let me give you a situation because that's gonna make this illustration much easier to grasp. You make, let's just make it 300,000, right? That puts you in the top income bracket. Now, if you have a job, going to get raped. If you have a business, you're going to have a party. Let's start the party. Number one, you have a business. You have your business in an S-Corp because if you have a single member entity such as an LLC, you're taxed at the 55% tax rate. A lot of folks don't know that. So you want 
want to fill out this form, which gives your corporation an S Corp designation, which is an LLC, and you fill all that out. So you've done that. That's that's job number one. Job number two is you turn any of your bills, such as your cell phone, turn it into a tax deduction. You deduct everything. Now, once again, if you are just running your business, building the asset, you pretty much end every year where you just don't have any money. The company did not make money, but you're reinvesting the money back into the company to grow it. You understand? You're not trying to ball out just yet. Now, I'll tell you some stuff that I do a little later. So you've got this business, and to make 300000 a year, you've got to do about 20 5,000, let's see. Yeah. So your goal is $25,000 per month, which is 7,500 per week. Now think about that. Let's, let's explore that a little bit. So you can sell seven products for a thousand, or you can sell a hundred products for whatever to do that. I like selling big ticket items, high price items, because the math is easier, the profits are better. Well, let's say you own a printing equipment manufacturing concern, and each one of your, your machines is like 5,000. So your goal is to sell two a week. Two a week, which is um, eight a month, and that puts you in there. Or let's say you own a sheet metal fabrication. I have a friend who owns one of these. Uh, each time he sells a machine, it's four hundred and eighty thousand dollars. It takes him three months to put that together. So he does millions of dollars a year because he puts. At one point, he was just putting one together because it's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. But now he puts in. I think he builds three at the same time. So that's 1.5 million every three months. And the margins are very, very healthy. So there's a lot of ways that you can set up your S Corp, set up your business and get your numbers. You got to get your numbers. One of the things that happens with a lot of Amazon sellers and a lot of eBay sellers is they do not look at the naked numbers. They don't want to because they know they're gonna be bad you got to look at your numbers. So we've got the business up. Many, many different businesses will get you here. Now, you're deducting everything, so your taxable income drastically goes down. So you're pulling in 300000 but you've got literally $245,000 in deductions. Now, there will be people who will say, well, no, you can't. Well, I'm going to say your business is not set up. Like, I'm going to talk about me. Like, this is a BMW X5M. I paid cash for it when I got it. Now, why did I do that? Because a lot of people are like, well, no, just take your money and put it somewhere else. No, I, I'm a business owner. It's a whole different ball game. So I paid cash for it, and I paid cash for it with a company check. Very important. You don't want to finance the vehicle and try to move it over to your company. You can, but it looks suspect. You want to keep all of your stuff congruent. Bought the vehicle, court, I mean, there's a clear path. And what I'm gonna do is write all of it off this year. So that's gonna be close to 50 grand. Now, why did I do that? Because we had too much money in the corporate accounts. And it's getting in the year and I've got to find things to spend money on. Because this vehicle, I go ahead and I write it off this year. So so this vehicle, which I had bought in my name, all of that stuff would have not become tax deductions. The insurance, which is a commercial insurance, is tax deductible. Having a vehicle in your company name gives you a lot of options for write-offs because the tax code is you can depreciate the vehicle, which I'm gonna do this year, and next year, I can probably go to mileage, which I think is 66, 60 cents a mile or something like that. Whatever makes the most sense. This one time, you know, it doesn't, you can't deduct into 2018. But the insurance, the maintenance, and all this stuff, I can deduct. And this 
is just part of the framework of creating a business and getting rich in America. Now, I've got that done, and then I have not one, but two offices. The office rent on that is tax deductible. I have five employees. Their salaries are tax deductible. When I established the holding company, which is the parent company, then I established this company this year, that is two million. That's, I put the YouTube channel plus some other assets, evaluated, valued at a million. So yeah, okay, now I'm back. So that's the million dollars. Until we make a million dollars, we are not paying taxes on that money. So we're gonna do about 1.2, so that's like $200,000 that I have to spend money to get rid of all of my taxes. So taxable income off of 1.2 may be 50,000. Just depends on what I spend. <laughs> Because I, I, my goal is to spend it all. And, that, and I know this sounds really crazy because it's like, wait a minute, why are you trying to spend this money? Why? Because I'm building the asset. This is how you get rich in America. You build assets. Having a high income and no assets is very dangerous. If you have a high income, you need to start buying as many assets as you can. You, you should... For five years, let's say you say you make the two hundred, you make the three hundred thousand from a job. For five years straight, you need to spend in a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand dollars of that money on asset. Buy a house every year, pay cash, rent it out. It's an asset that goes up in value, and you you have that because let's say you're making three hundred thousand a year, and for seven years, right, you follow this advice. You drop 100, 150, or you split the money and you buy two rental properties. So in seven years, you got 15 rental properties that are paid off. You know that's your retirement, right? Because let's just say the rents on these properties are 750. 1,500 <clears throat> times seven. It's almost $10,000. And let's just <clears throat> and let's just say 30% of that is for maintenance, taxes, and stuff. So that's seven thousand dollars a month, and you can still do something else. That's how you get rich in America. You have to change your mindset. You have to think about buying assets because a lot of the millennials have this freedom ethic where I don't want to own anything. I want to live in a van. I I don't want to own a house. I don't want a lot of bills. That is stupid. It is stupid because. What you're missing out on is the compounding and the escalation of value of your assets. Because I'm spending all this money, but the company's becoming more valuable. And then, then let's say next year we do $3 million. Then I'm going to probably pay a lot in taxes. Oh, no, I'm not. If you saw this video, I got a plan for that. And this is how you get rich in America is I'm going to take that money and I'm going to buy a house in, in the corporation. And the house would be used for a video production studio and a show. Tax deductible. So you get to own assets and use assets while not paying taxes legally. That's how you get rich in America. Now, let's talk about some other tactics here. Let's say you are broke dick Danny. You have no assets, you have no money. So you've got to pick a vehicle for five or six years that will get you money, that will get you the ability to purchase some assets or to buy a business or something. You got to pick something. You, you just can't like, well, I don't want to do that. When you're broke dick Danny, broke dick Danny means your options are limited. You can't just do what you want to do. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I I worked on selling many things. All right, say you're broke dig Danny, right? And you're looking for a come up. First of all, you have to get rid of that mindset of a come up because a come up is temporary. A come up isn't It isn't factual. It isn't long term. So therefore, you must change your thinking from short term gain 
to long-term asset building. Now, as I alluded to earlier, if you do not know what you want to do when you grow up, you need to pick some and devote one, two, three years to it. Get started because once you get started, other doors and opportunities will open up. But as long as you're in that planning, fixing to, fin to, beginning stage, you're never going to realize you're never going to realize the joy of success. There is a certain level of personal satisfaction that comes from being successful. And when I say successful, it is not major success because when you use the word success people have they fill in the blanks with oh this person did 10 million 20 million 30 million that's not what i'm talking about my first major success to me was when i completed my first book i had made no money but there was this joy that was inside of me of the level of accomplishment that's what I'm talking about. Because when you do something hard, when you do something that challenges you and you come through, that feeling is amazing. And you can do that with a car wash and you can do that with a cleaning company. You, you can do it. Because going back to one of my things about put purpose in your work. Do not look for work that has purpose. You can, like uh, my janitorial company, which was very short lived, it used to turn into a game on how fast I could clean it up or how fast or how efficient I could be. You, you could do so many things. But many of you are looking for ready-made success. It's like, bam, you get into there, then it's like all these accolades and all this other stuff. And you really need to crank it down many levels because you can't go from broke dick Danny to the top just like that you can go from broke dick danny i used to be broke dick danny i know broke dick danny very well you just cannot make those kind of moves in months or even a few years it could certainly take you a lifetime really it could but if you don't get started the lifetime does not begin and that is the harshest most real thing because there's gonna come a time when you're going to sit down and be reflective of the choices that you made. And it's going to be a great time or it's going to be sad. It's going to be despondent. You're just not going to be happy because one of the problems with success is that many people treat the accumulants of success, the trappings of success, the, the trophy wife, the big house, the car, when the real success happens in those quiet moments when you reach that next level of accomplishment, that's the success, that's where it happens. But so many people are looking for magic jelly beans and these other quick fixes or these apps. And then you see people online and they're, they're really doing well, but I think many of them don't convey the level of hard work that went into getting there. I just don't think it's there. That level of extreme effort, the level of extreme sacrifice, and you just don't have people who are willing to share that side because I've had five businesses that failed. True story. Well, anyway, we're going to get to the pitch. So if you're broke, Dick Danny, you don't want to grow, you don't want to experience anything better in your life, then goodbye. I'll see you later. I'll see you in the next video. Because I'm getting ready to pitch something, and it's going to be amazing. And I'm also going to tell you how to get those free t-shirts. Hey there, this is what's going on. I am getting ready to move and enhance some courses. Like Fat Cat Secrets, that's pretty new. I'm going to leave that the way it is. But all of these courses, well, some of them, I shouldn't say everything. But I'm going to move to the new platform. I like Teachable much better. It's just easier. It's cleaner than this one. Now, with the move, there will be significant enhancements because I'm not going to 
download these and move them to the new platform. I am going to rebuild these courses. So 30 days to 2,500 is going to be 30 days to 5,000. Disruptive money personal is going to change. Becoming the boss is going to change. Uh, disruptive mating, I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll enhance that. How to be broke again, I'll enhance that. Um, so what's going to happen? Child support, probably leave that alone because that's really good the way it is. But everything is going to go to, let's see. We're going to go to Hustlers Kung Fu University. Let's see. Uh, do it that way. Here we go. Welcome to Hustlers Kung Fu University. So this will be primarily sales, marketing, and product development. If it's not sales, if it's not marketing or product development, it will not be here. And it's going to be a heavy focus and of heavy concentration on making money online because that's what I've done. I've actually have entered the space. Well, next year I will have made money online longer than I did offline because I'll cross that 10 year mark. Now hear me and we'll talk about this. I am not going to monkey around with this. I am going to, let's see, did it pop up? Cause I'm not going to mention this. Yes. All right. So you've got four ways to go get into this. You got the four payment plan or you have next level payment plan six months or you can be one and done. Now, the people who are one and done, they can come to the Hustle Camp live experiences. If you're on a payment plan, no, you cannot come to the Hustlers Kung Fu live experiences. Doesn't make sense because what will happen is someone will sign up for this $385 plan, then come to a live experience. Not going to happen. So you must make payment in full if you want to come to a live experience. But if you're on the payment plan, you get access to everything else. Makes sense. So pick your poison. Um, and the payments, I'm going to leave this structure like this for a while because I think this is a good structure. And it's going to probably take me six months to get all this stuff up. So what's going to happen is every time I drop a course, I'm going to drop a T-shirt. So you're going to get, let's say you join the day. What T-shirts would you get? You would get the Fat Cat Secrets. You would also get what I'm having conceived now is a dragon shirt. It's going to have Hustlers Kung Fu University established 2009. And it's going to be black and silver. We're going to see, but you'll get those two shirts because the Fat Cat Secrets is going to launch this month. And then the other shirt will launch in December. I'm probably going to do Primo, uh, Hustle Camp Primo Drive. I'll do that in January. But yeah, so you get in now, probably going to get two, three shirts. Plus, more important than the shirt, you're going to get the knowledge because let me show you something. This is my, let's go in here. You can buy it separate if you want, but the science of direct response. And what, what we're doing here is there's an audio version. There's a written version. Uh, those two are done. And then the upscale garage story, that's a little sale. That's a little story there. But what will happen is I will be able to put this in a manner to get you started because when I was putting this course together, I was thinking, all right, I've got these up level courses, but they're really too advanced for most people. So what, you know what, just bring them along, start out at what you say. You need to start with direct response because if you notice, I sell in every video, that's direct response. You got to do it. So I'm going to bring on the direct response. Then I'm probably do like a sales and marketing course and then bring over some of the other stuff because I want this to make sense. Also, set goals that you can achieve versus you like, whoa, this is too much. Essentially, the first few parts of the stuff, you can keep your job, make extra money. And also, let's talk about this bad boy. Here we go. Here we go. This is a legitimate way that you can save six to $20,000 a year off of your tax bill if you have a job. 
that's how so that right there alone and this is the thing about this you don't have to get a lot of followers you don't have to get a lot of views what you have to do is set up a youtube channel in an llc document your expenses and you get to write off rooms in your house you get to write off you know, well if you do what i did i put thor into the trust fund. I mean, I put Thor into Mac Daddy Media. So Mac Daddy Media owns that vehicle. It's 100% a tax write off. Uh, the rims I put on it, 100% tax write off. Uh, I could do five years. I'm, I'm going to do all at once this year. This is where I'm trying to get it all done. But I'm going to write off $55,000 just for Thor. The camera you use, you know, everyone's like, what's the cheapest camera you use? If you go out and buy a new camera, you get to write that off. You buy a new tripod, you get to write that off. You take a trip and shoot one video, you get to write that off. Well, yeah, we're at grandma's house. Well, let me go out here. Hey, I'm. this is John. I'm at grandma's house. You get to write the plane tickets. You see what I mean? It is so simple. But once again, I will outline the strategy in there. And this hands down is worth easily four or $5,000. Just saying. And thus you get a lot more. All right, so just go ahead and click the link under the video and you will be able to go ahead and start today. Start making money, start saving money and start learning how to create videos, start learning how to DM for fun and profit today. How cool is that? All right, so make sure you come here. We will handle you appropriately and once again, if you're on the payment plan, you cannot come to the live experiences. Only the people, uh, only people, uh, <laughs> only the people who pay in full can come to the live experiences. All right. All right.